Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Good and morning. welcome to the final celebration news. Yep. After this year, we won't be having it. I won't. You might, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going on. I'm going fishing. You going fishing? Yeah, right? I'm gonna go fishing. I'm, these are early hours. If I'm gonna get up this early, I'm gonna catch. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a fish. You go ahead and do your deal, and then we'll have a little discussion. Show some horses. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. We was uh, just talking about two-faced pro prosecution. Yes. <laughs> we had a we had a patrol horse on there last night with a cracked heel because of that boot. USDA nowhere in sight. Right. That's right. <laughs> and, exactly right. And what what gets me is they say the saddlebreds and all these. <laughs> It's all right for them to wear a boot because it does not harm harm their horse. Yep. Now, I'm gonna tell you, fellas. <laughs> it, it's a uh, that's just a dumb statement. It is. But they they pull some they pull some stuff pulling horses out of the warm up ring that they just passed and saying they got inflammation, but they didn't have inflammation when they were standing over there, but they got it when they got over here. So I'm wondering what happened between point A and point B to cause a VMO to run out there and override one of her partners in crime. Yeah. And I say partners in crime because every time they touch a horse with that alcohol, they're committing a crime. Yeah. They're violating the Horse Protection Act. They're doing it openly. They don't care. And anybody with common sense, it's just like you said, alcohol will dry out the skin. Mm -hmm. So 
they're irritating the horse before you even go <laughs> to, through inspection and then won't tell everybody that the government is here to help you. You're exactly right on that. The biggest thing of it is if I put alcohol on my horse's foot out there, I get through inspection, I'll be in trouble. You got it right, buddy. They're going to come and get you. It's, why, it's two faced. It's two faced. And, and really and truly, they committed to me when they, when they hold the fact that they can write a couple of letters to a DQP and he can no longer inspect a horse. When they do that, I believe the word for that is extortion. And I truly believe it's against the law. Matter of fact, I know it's against the law. They, but they don't, they don't seem to care. And quite honestly, I'm fed up with, as an industry, we're not doing anything. We should be suing them, charging them, doing something. But all we're doing is laying back and letting them kick us. Let's go to some video because we can talk over all these victory passes. Day seven. Here's a Dixieland delight in Jeff Lachlan. I tell you, it, it just, when it comes to what's happening to our industry, and we know we've got the ability to put a stop to it, but we're not. I'd love to know the reason why we're not. Me too. Statistically, everything the government does, they pad their inspections by saying high band, loose band, heavy chain, foreign substance, rough chain, rough chain, uh, shoe, shoe, shoe in violation. They call them everyone a sore horse, yeah. which is a bald faced lie and it's falsifying evidence. Yes. In my opinion. Jalapeno and Joe Lester for Kimberly and Perry Walden. That is one heck of a walking horse. And I tell you another thing that bothered me. They did not touch, and I'm glad they didn't. Don't get me wrong, and I'm not throwing rocks at nobody except them. They did not inspect the first flat shot horse during the morning until the final Monday, and then they swabbed them. Now, what kind of deal was that? Well, I mean, that's another fact. Of pulling these shoes off of these flat shot horses out there in the public. I mean, I know it has to be a way that you can test that shoe to make sure it was, it was a legal oh, shoe. With, you know. Slim and hot and Robert Dorch, your owner amateur three-year-old stay in section A winner. And he showed them why come championship. That's right. Ride. Robert's a super good guy. Well, I think, now, and I may be wrong, but I was told that that was a show deal. It wasn't a government, but it was done by show because of complaints. Now, this is what I was told. Complaints that people were showing with a tungsten shoe was the reason they was pulling it. But a magnet would show. So they, I think people just requested it, and it was the right people to get it done. Yeah. Joe Pond, Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield, young trainers, 35 and under stallions. That doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> and I guarantee you that stallions ain't 35. But you gotta understand it's the end and everybody's tired. Oh yeah. Give out. They eat. Me and Pocahontas, Tyler Balkan for Allison Armstrong, Mares and Guild and King. This bear is gonna be heard from for a long time. Oh yeah, time. for a long time. Good you, mare. you were right about that. Good mare. But you know, getting back to that, you know, that, that runs a lot of people's livelihood that's, it does. that's involved in this. You know, all these trainers that take care of their family and, you know, and support themselves, you know, it, well, it, just, it hurts you. And, and the owners lose a lot of money because they got a lot of money invested in these horses. It's just like these swabs that they're doing. They can't be used in court. They're not doing them right. Praise and honor in Jeff Lachlan for Doris Pinnock, your park performance five and under winner. 
And that's what really gets me, Jerry, is it's just like the, the thermography. They didn't do it correct. I have not heard of one horse going to court because the tomography found something wrong with him. I doubt whether you ever hear anything from these swabs either because they're not being done right. And, and, and it's just like the one post I saw on Facebook. Certain VMOs came here to destroy this industry show and did their best to do it. There's Koufax and Blaze Bacard for Wagerman and Koufax, or Wagerman and Bacard. Like I said, it's Sunday morning and I'm tired. Blaze did a good job yeah. celebration. I guess I'm just, I'm tired of taking it on the chin because the government don't want to be ethical. Yeah. Papacito and Karen Bean. I thought she did outstanding. Me too. I really she did. She made a good ride. But I can tell you, you can, I've heard that hatefulness, uh, everything else about the VMOs, and, and you would think that their leader would do something about it. But when you, when you let people do stuff like that, it all comes back. I'm responsible for everybody, the actions of everybody that works for me. Yes. If they do something wrong, the book stops here. And I got news for all of them that's involved with the USDA, the book stops someplace. And if they're, if they're telling them to intentionally do this, then they're in the wrong too. I be Smoking Joe and Joe Johnson for Tanner and Tucker Johnson. Owner amateur all day pleasure world grand champion and there's only been one yeah. for three years. And just, uh, I don't know. I tell you, it, it's a lot of long days and sleepless nights. Been here lately. Worried about this industry, worried about, you know, what the government gonna come up with the, the next time you show. Well, and Jerry, I'm gonna just put this on the line. I've always defended the trainers, but it's time the trainers stood up and, and took care of the industry. It's their livelihood. Yes. It's not nobody else. The celebration board, none of them. It's none of their livelihood. It's the trainer's livelihood. And the trainers need to just say, look, let's file the lawsuits, let's go for it. Patrick Mahomes and Paul Simmons for Terry. Well, Paul's bought that horse now. Yeah, that's Owner a good amateur, horse. Owner novice, world grand champion. I was tickled for Paul. I, I really was. I was for him, too. I mean, I was. He's got a good one. Jimmy's done great with that horse. Yep. But it is. It, it's time for the trainers to take back their industry. Because, it, it, like I said, it's their livelihood. If, if, if this show goes away, Everybody else is going to move on to something else to raise funds. What are the trainers going, going to do? do? You're exactly right. What are they and, going to do? And I'm a part of that myself. You know, it's, you know, these, I'm, the owners got a lot to do with it because they put the money in the horses. That's but right. they don't make their livelihood train these horses every day. That's it. People that's, that's power to be, they don't make their livelihood doing this. What make their livelihood doing this is trainers. Trainers, that's it. this is the way we make our money and support our family. And, and that's why I think the trainers should stand up and say, that's it, fellas. It's over. We're fixing to stand here and fight and go to it. The ultimate honor is Jack Harney. Now, he's a pistol, buddy. Yes, he is. Owner Amateur Youth Pony, world grand champion. I was tickled to death for this young man. I've always defended the trainers. 
Now, I've had, I've had a couple of them stab me in the back, and I know it. They know who they are. But the majority are my friends. Oh, yeah. And, and I think a lot of them, and I know what they go through. Here's the country lineman in B.B. Beasley. She was reserve world grand champion. I just, I, I guess, Jerry, my problem is I would never let somebody outside my business tell me how to run my business. That's right. And if they ain't a trainer, they don't know. Into the Badlands, Chad Spencer, or Chad and Scarlett Spencer. Chad had two, had some good rides in the high team. Yeah, he did. He made a heck of a ride last night. He did, made, made a real good ride. Chad's a super nice guy. Well, I got news for him. There ain't a hair different between him and the one that won. Yeah. And that's a fact. A lot of people like this one. Yeah. So. Judging his opinion. Here's Honored in Texas, Bob Adcock. I really, really like that horse. A bunch. Matter of fact, a lot of these classes this year, I like the second, third place horse a whole yeah. lot better than I like the first place horse. Yeah. Smoking Joe, Tanner Johnson, reserve, world grand champion. You know, I think they had some, they had some real good classes. Some of the, the ties with the little off. I think you have, that, since the, the celebration's over with. That's it. Um, I think you had some a good some good quality judges out there. We did. I think you had some that tied from the heart. Mm -hmm. and some that didn't. And, and some that didn't. <laughs> Owner amateur ponies world grand. Here's my girl now. Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. She does well. Very proud of her. You know, on that judging part, I don't, you know, everybody gonna have different opinions of horses that they think that win. But my biggest thing is tied for what you, when you can go to home at night and can sleep all night and feel with a, with a clear conscience, then you've done what you wanted to do. That's it. Regardless on what horse you tied. Well, you can tell that a lot of times they, they did not agree. Yeah. I mean, that's just like me and you. You know, you'll pick one horse first, and I'll pick another horse first. But if you feel like that's it, and I can't doubt your opinion because that's your that's your own opinion. There she is. This is a this Kendra Myers is a country lady that can flat ride a horse, buddy. A gem to win. Reserve World Grand Champion. Yeah, real nice horse. On my line and Carol Baxter, owner amateur 15 2 and under world grand champion. I 
what I was talking about, the trainers, and, and here's the way I look at it. You do what's best for the trainers, not what somebody else tells you is yes, best right. for the trainers. You know what's best for your industry. You know what's best for the trainers involved. You are right about that. A kingpin and Bob Adcock, amateur 15 to an under reserve world grand champion. Hey, Bob, I mean, I could sit here and talk all day about Bob Adcock. I tell you, he, he can ride a horse now. Yeah, he can. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And that's all that matters. That's right. <laughs> that's right. all that matters is know it. Here's Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware for Tom Ware. Owner amateurs, youth 6 to 11 Bears Gildan World Grand Champion. do another show next week where we'll show our world grand champions and that's about all we will show is the ones that either would reserve our world grand champions right there it's the medalist in Eli Cunningham this young man right here is always a winner oh, yeah. in my book always a winner Good kid. He made an awesome ride. He did. You say it. Like I say, this horse here, you're going to see this horse a lot in the winter circle right here. I mean, he's got it all. He got it all, and I'm going to tell you, he's... This horse has always been a real good horse, but now this horse right now in this division is coming to the top, and he'll be there. He's going to he's gonna walk, he's going to prove his wealth. That's right. Because he is something else, and, and Allison told me he's a lot of fun to ride. I'm gonna tell you, he's a nice horse. No, he's, he's looking his. Well, style you can see right that back there. end right there, that back oh. end patting that front foot. I oh. mean. <laughs> hey, he's getting her done. Slim and hot, and Robert Dorch. I know he is tickled pink. He's always already wanting to see his his <laughs> victory passes. <laughs> CJ will be uploading them this week and getting them on YouTube, and I will be mailing out leases. Boy, he's getting it done. He is. Right? job, Robert. And here's Mr. Bentley and Lakeland Matthews, reserve world grand champion, 6 to 17, trail pleasure. I like the name of that horse. Yeah, me too.
Good ride, young lady. I love to see these kids oh, yeah. show them horses. That's what it's all about, Jerry. Cavender and Knox Blackburn for Bruce, Bruce and Robin McDonald. That's a good horse, too. Hey, he better watch out. He's coming next year. Yeah. Now, he excites the crowd. Oh, yeah. champion smoking and Jimmy McConnell for Allison Armstrong that's a mare oh yeah look at there hot dog <laughs> she is good now oh yeah that mare left out of there in front of a bunch of studs I tell you what, you might see that mare next year. That's fact. You, you make very well, because that mare can walk, yeah. buddy. All right, you do your deal, and then we're going to show some Grand Championship Saturday night videos. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind. Or bring the crowd for some stargazing. Or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. All right, we're fixing to go to the final night of the celebration and a lot of good classes. Yes, it was a lot of good, a lot of good ones, buddy. Yep. They started off with your owner amateur trail pleasure three and under world grand championship. She's venomous. 
Well, first we got the stick horse. I forgot yeah. about that. That was 130 entries. I tell you, that's, that's wonderful right there. I, it is. I tell you, that, that's what it's about. Them kids and them little kids getting to walk around that ring out there and excited to do that. Little kid got his little riding suit on. <laughs> I, you know, think so. I mean, that's. Grandparents out there with the grandkids. I seen some friends when they'd come in, and I told them, I said, Y'all done missed the best class of the night. There was 130 horses in it. That's right. <laughs> he had to read off, Mark had to read off every one of those names. Now that is something, but That is something else. That's, that's neat. That's. All of them got a blue ribbon. Yeah. Owner Amateur Trail Pleasure, three and under. She's venomous, and Kerry, Kelly Query took the, Kelly Query took the blue. You know, I believe she is from um, Needsville, Texas, the Little League baseball team. Okay. Uh, I believe that's right. I ain't but 3,000 people in that town. But my, my, one of my favorite horses and, and people was reserved, and rightly so. This is who I am and Chad Spencer, for yeah. Chad and Scarlett Spencer. Party mode, Emily Woodworth was third. Development, Ashley Say Abernathy, Jolly Be Good, Isaac McGee, and Allstate, Teresa Tyrus finished out the ribbons. That's a nice horse Chad to have. Hey, what it was a heck of a night. Yep, heck of a night. And I tell you what, Chad Spencer, good coach, ride a horse, and got some good ones. Yep, yep. There he is. Congratulations, Chad. You yeah. made a heck of a ride. Uh, yeah. This is who I am. Chad Spencer, reserve world grand champion. He did great. He made a good ride. I kept watching. I thought they were going to call his number. Yeah. Tell you the truth. That horse didn't make a bobble, buddy. I mean, right, right there is what he did. Like a sewing machine. Hey. One stitch right after another. That's right. But now he timed up. Couldn't ask for anything better. Here's your owner, amateur youth, 12 to 17, Marzing Gildan World Grand Champion. Look at those entries. Oh, yeah. That was a big class. <laughs> I'm they had telling a bunch you, of good horses in that class right there. I said out there, I was, I was looking, I said, God, that was a good one. Then I hear come another. Nevermore and Julia Callaway took the blue for Morrison Callaway. He's a lucky strike. Arbery Derrickson for Ralph Derrickson. That right there is a good horse. Extra yeah. special Jose, multi-time world grand champion. And Emma Wright. Ruby Lipstick, Macy Ware. Extra special Jose. They got her listed twice here. There ain't no way that could have happened. Jose's Vindicator, Caroline Wesley Way, Super Bowl MVP, Jose's Champ, and Vaughn Miller finished out the, and Elway, and Lacey Matthews finished out the ribbons. That was a, it was a heck of a class. Well, that fifth place horse, was, a, Maxine Beasley.
That's I mean, tell you, just look at the talent that's in that class right there. Tell me about it. Quite an honor. Yeah. Was was in there, and that that's the one that was fifth. And buddy, she was she. Well, that's Maxine, uh, that Super Bowl MVP right there. That was BB. But Maxine, she was in there on quite an honor, and buddy, she put on a show. I know. But I mean, extra special, Jose. But now I tell you, it's. I mean, every one of them horses coming through there. I mean, they are they are putting it, picking it up, and putting it down. Hey. I thought they was great. Myself. They are. That's a and wonderful that class. And look how full it was. Yeah. Nevermore in Julia Callaway for Morrison Callaway. Congratulations on, to you. Owner Amateur U 1217 Mary Gilded World Grand Champion. You know with all the stuff that went on back in the inspection and the horses that was turned down or whatever, you know we they still had a heck of a horse show. They did. With the horses that was that show. They had a super one. I mean, no doubt about it. Just think of all, if it wasn't so hard, I mean, you would have had a over the top entries. There would have been, that, that ring would have been crowded every time. Every time, that's right. <clears throat> but now I love to see a class like that. Right oh yeah, there, that's where, right. Where you got them stacked in there. Make him judge his work. I like it to be hard to find a spot on the rail really? by yourself. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Owner Amateur Mares and Gildan World Grand Championship. A home run by Ted took the blue, but Harley Quinn and Beth, they had their fans. Yes. But right there she is on the rail and she's doing the walking, doing the talking. There's Molly <coughs> Walters on She's Limitless. I thought she did real she good. She made a good show. Old Rocky Top and Lily Ridley was third. She's Limitless, fourth. Flying High CC, Cheryl Crawford. Gotcha Jose, Brittany Baum. By Felicia, Kathy Stewart. A Neon Cowboy, Brian Nichols. She's Saucerita, R. Williams, and got your back, Samantha Green finished out the ribbons. But I am a Beth Collins fan, and I'm a Harley Quinn fan. Yeah. Good when you like them both. If I'm not mistaken, you, um, the horse that the bay mare out there, they sold a coat out of her at the sale this weekend. Out of She's Limitless? Mm -hmm. I think she had an embryo. If I'm not mistaken, I think I heard that they had by Jose. Wish I knew what it went for, because I mean, I'm gonna tell you what, that mare is a piece of work man, now. Yeah. She's a multi-time world grand champion, world champion. You can't ask for much more. Yeah. Molly's well, making a heck of a show. Uh-huh. I'll tell you. Damn. Well, there's Harley. That was a good class. That was a good class. There's a walking horse. Yeah. Bar none. <laughs> I know 
was just a smooth. Smooth and do it, and she's doing it good. Yeah. Park Performance World Grand Championship. Many of them made it back for this class. Praise and honor, and Jeff Lachlan took the blue for Doris Penny. So real, Patrick Thomas for Cynthia Mar Marion Wright was reserved. was tickled with oh, this. Oh, yeah. I don't care if there's only one horse in it, she'd be tickled pink. Praise and honor. Praise and honor and Jeff Lachlan for Doris Pinnock, your part performance world grand champion. Tell you what, Jeff, Jeff's had a good celebration and yeah. he's done a good job with the Penix horse. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tell you something else. You take honors right there. Mm -hmm. He had, if you go and sit back and count all the world champ, world grand mm -hmm. champions. He had, he had a bunch of them. He had a bunch of them. Well, I've got one out there in the pasture just waiting to be crowned. Yeah. And I predict that that, that little stud that I've got is gonna, I just got a feeling he's gonna do well. He's pretty anyway. He is pretty. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. Two-year-old world grand championship. No apology, and Jimmy McConnell took the blue for Bridden and Tuttle. But it was Spotlight Jose and Bill Calloway had their following, too. Eight miles. Casey Wright. Hawking the loose, R.M. Kelly. Longing for honor, Tanner Burks. Hot Street, Sam Martin. Come back, George. Come back, George. <laughs> Michael Wright, Java, Josh Wright, and German Eye, Knox Blackburn finished out the ribbons. But I tell you what, spotlight on Jose with Bill Calloway. Oh, they, yeah. They had a bunch of people cheering for them. Said, get her done, get her done. seat to nobody. Somebody done took off going the wrong way. And right there he is, spotlight on Jose 4G, Bill Calloway. Jose had a bunch of good ones. Oh, yeah. Good job. 
Championship. I could talk all day, talk all night, and never get done talking about Bob Adcock and his horses. Oh, yeah. Born a Maverick and Bob Adcock took the blue. A shade of Jose. Outstanding horse. I love that right there. Yeah. Buck Buchanan was in there on a shade of Jose, and I'm telling you what now, he put on a show. Primo, Justin Harney, a great honor, Chabney Beasley. Honors roll call, Janie Chapman. I'm a pistol Annie, Blake Carmack. Voyager, Paul Simmons. I am Mocash, Caitlin Rippey. I am the lady, Alex Luttrell and Google Com Judy Stanfield finished out the ribbons. But I have been a fan of Born a Maverick ever since the first time I saw him. Yeah. And I'm, I, right now I'm a big fan of this Jose too, the shade of Jose. Yeah. I thought Buck Buchanan, now he, he's had a good celebration, but that horse, he's good, real good. I believe his wife's fixed to take that horse away from him, Bob. Uh -huh. Bob ain't gonna let his <laughs> wife take his horse. Now he may let his daughter take one yeah. away from him. <laughs> but I do believe Buck's fixing to lose his ride. At least I think that's what he said. Well, there's your winner, born a Maverick, Bob Adcock, under the spotlight. Look at you, um, Callaway Stables had a good night. Hey, good they night, did. Man. They had a good Saturday night. They had a lot of good horses. Yeah, they got a lot of good horses. That horse just gets your attention when he comes in, and once you see him, you keep going back oh, to yeah. him. No matter what you do, you look at all the rest of them, you keep going back to this one. That's right. I think a lot of people say, does he ever mess up? Does he ever make a miss lick? Because I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it. Well, if you do your gig, we will finish this out and close the show. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal, 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. 
So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at HumaneWatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. You know, this open specialty world grand championship was a good thing. Oh, it was a good It really was. It really was. Open specialty world grand championship, what more can I say? Warbird. Ryan Blackburn for Ginger Williams. That is one fine lady that right there. That is a nice lady. Power stroke by Jose Rodney Dick for Susan Coleman. Tua Knox Blackburn, Keith and Lorraine Rosberry. I am Mighty Jose Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Honor and obey R.M. Kelly, Mr. and Miss Howard Eastridge. Jose Made in the Shade, Justin Harris for Charlotte Crespin. Made in the Shade. <laughs> Honor in the Ritz, Mike Hanna for Jack Belosky. Tell you what, it don't get no better. No. I've always liked Warbird. I like the name, I like the horse, I like the owner. I like them all. Make my day. A lot of good horses in that class. That's what makes it exciting, Jerry, is when you when you have good horses and you got a lot of fans in the stands. They had a lot of fans in the stands. There she is, Warbird. And Ryan Blackburn for Ginger Williams. Can't ask for much more than that right no. there, buddy. Go for the glory, buddy. Proud of you. You know, I'm surprised Ginger hadn't showed that horse. Yeah. I really am. Well, I know she can ride. Here it is. Here's your World Grand Championship. We are going to post the entire World Grand Championship class later because it's a long one. I tell you now. We're going to upload it to YouTube. They had a bunch of good horses in this class right here. Oh, yeah. It's the first time in many years I have seen this, this cowboy class that was in there. Hey, it was tough. It was tough. It got tough. And I mean, it's some good ones. I think everybody had their favorite out there. Oh, yeah. Justified Honors took the blue. Oh, yeah. Jose's Revival was reserved. Dixie Road. Glory JC, Mr. True Blue. Mach 1 and Honor and Remember. Finished out the ribbon. Yeah. But from start to finish, this was a class to remember. The quality. Oh yeah. They tell me they're all getting into it. All now. getting into it. I tell you, this is. They put on a show. They put on. They, <laughs> they put on a show right here now. They didn't make it take a back seat. Uh -uh. Like I say, we're going to show the entire celebration final class. It, we will put it up on YouTube, and I'll po post a link on Facebook so everybody can see everything yeah. from a two-camera shoot. 
this. They had a show after a show right here. <laughs> well, going to the lineup, there's a lot of post about going to the lineup. Yeah. I mean, this is right here, getting that crowd together right here. Look at Casey. Casey's getting it. Hey. He's letting them know, I am here. So's Link. Yeah. Boy, Link putting on show so, right yeah. there, ain't he? I tell you, it's Link come up out of the lineup and went back to the LDN. You know, <laughs> I that's, hope, I mean, that's, hey, I ain't that's exciting right there. And right here's your reserve world grand champion, Jose's Revival in Casey Wright. And he put on an he exhibition, did. buddy. He let them know. What was it Arnold Schwarzenegger said right yeah. before you come and kick butt? I'll be back. back. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what Casey's saying. I will be back. Yeah. And I'm sure he will. I know Debbie's proud. I want to remind everybody our show will get longer. It's still going to be longer this morning. But we will upload our regular one-hour show to all our areas. It will be on Wednesday. But this is the final celebration news that we'll do together. Now, you may yeah. be doing it next year, <laughs> but I, I will not be doing it. I'm, I am, uh, I'm going fishing. You're going fishing. I hear you. And, I understand. In December, we will stop doing, or I will stop doing what a horse. I don't know who's going to continue it. If it's not continued, it will be sitting on a shelf back here in the back room. That'll work. You can come over and watch videos, videos with me any time. That'll work. We will get her done. But we had a great celebration. If it wasn't for the uh, Gestapo that came in, we would uh, have a whole lot better celebration. Yeah. But all said and done, uh, our trainers came through. Our trainers did a great job. They showed some fantastic horses. Yep, they had a good show. Mm -hmm. I mean, a wonderful show. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you did good. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I can't throw no rock at yeah. you. I, I thought you did very well. And I appreciate you getting up early every morning and come over and helping me get through this. Oh, it wasn't that going to stop me from doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man, buddy. We will see everybody with another show next week when we show exactly what a walking horse is supposed to look like. Yep, that's right. That's it. I got a video coming. Y'all have a good weekend. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, peace, start talking.